we are at the absolutely iconic Tower Bridge. Now, the classic shot of this is kind of in the middle of Tower Bridge, looking up at the big pillars in the middle. But I've got another idea, all right? You know, like I say, it's always good to do the classics, but it's always nice to try other ideas. This idea, though, entails me standing in the middle of the road. There's an island there. I'm going to stand in the middle of the road and I'm going to look back at Tower Bridge or look at Tower Bridge there. And I want uh, like two London buses streaking either side of me. So I'm going to need to take two pictures, unless I get very lucky and two go past at once. But I need to get two pictures, one going one way, one going the other way, and merge them back together in post. Now, unusually, this is why I've got this idea, this is why I want to do it, because unusually, the traffic is moving really quite freely this evening, right? Which is really unusual for London and Tower Bridge. So, movement, London buses looks really cool. I'm guessing in my head, I'm guessing at the moment a four second exposure. So, what I need to do is get myself set up. I'm going to go quite low on the tripod, well, a bit low on the tripod, I think. Put the camera to four seconds put it onto manual and then figure out the aperture and the ISO from there really to see what the correct exposure is. Take a few test shots and then literally wait for a bus, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get in the middle and I'm gonna attempt to take this shot, all right? Wish me luck. Right, so I'm framed up here and I am now going to go to fully manual, fully manual mode. I'm going to put the shutter speed onto four seconds. I'm currently at f11 at ISO 100, and that's giving me one stop under. So if I go to f8 at four seconds, ISO 100, that's looking all right. Let's do a little test shot. Anything coming? Do a little test shot. There's no buses at the minute, but I'm doing a test shot. I've also got the um, camera on a two second timer. Well, do you know what? That really isn't bad, four seconds. So let's lock off. Let's make sure I'm properly locked off. And, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a bracket just for the background, okay? So that was four seconds. I'm gonna do one at two seconds. That gives me a darker exposure. I'll do one at one second. It gives me a really dark exposure for the highlights. And now let's do one at eight seconds. Yeah, that's good. And then I'll d I don't think I need one at higher than that. Let's have a look. No, I definitely don't, uh, whatever. I'm gonna do one at 16 seconds. Uh, I haven't got 16, 15 seconds, just to make sure. And by the way, my focus point is on infinity. So, you know, focus point is on infinity. So it's good to get a bracket of the pictures for the background and the bridge, because then at least I can get that correctly exposed. And, uh, and then it's literally waiting for the buses. Yeah, that's really bright, I don't need that one. Right, let's go back to four seconds now. FA, ISO 100. Here comes a bus. Here we go. Yes, not a bad start, mate. Not a bad start. I think I hit that a bit early. Yeah, yeah, that bus weren't lit up enough. I'm fussy when it comes to buses, and I need one that's sparkling. Well, not sparkling, but lit. Here comes a bus. I'm gonna use my remote trigger this time. So before I use the timer, here comes a bus. Now I'm gonna use this. The remote trigger. Yes. That's what you want, <laughs> that is what you want. So I'm using the remote trigger so I can get it a bit more accurate than the two second timer. And that was a good picture. That was lots of streaking. There's not much redness, but there is lots of streaking. There's some buses coming that way now. 
Here we go. Go. Yes, that was the one. Oh, and another one. Oh, that is really... Oh, that is just... This is it, man. It don't happen very often like this on Tower Bridge. I can tell you that right now. Here comes another bus. And let's take the picture and go. Oh man, this is just it. This is just it. I, I mean, as usual, I probably want to take 60 million pictures, but I'm pretty sure I've got it already, you know? That's it. I'm gonna come back over there and talk to you with a bit of light on me face. Well, that was what you call a stroke of luck, all right? And uh, every time there are little strokes of luck come along, you grab them. Firstly, the traffic flowing like it is tonight on uh, Tower Bridge, that's quite rare. I think it's because it's a Monday night, so there's a little tip for you. Come out on a Monday night. I'm, I'm, uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, that's my guess. The other stroke of luck is, <laughs> just as we finish shooting, the uh, highway maintenance have just pulled up with all their flashing orangey lights. So we just finished the shot um, before they come along. So that's another stroke of luck. So now let's just recap on what I actually did. In my head, I thought four seconds would be long enough. Remember, it's very easy to figure out the time. How long is it gonna take for the object to travel through your frame? I was looking at the traffic moving. I thought about four seconds, which, which was correct. So I went um, to the middle there put it onto fully manual, put the seconds to four, put the ISO to 100, and then you just change the aperture to get your meter to the zero, and that's your middle exposure. Then I did a, a bracket just for the background. Not sure if I'm gonna use it or not, but just in case. So I did one stop below that, two stops below it, one stop above, two stops above. And that's just to ensure that I've got a decent exposure for the background for the bridge. Then it was a matter of waiting for the buses to come past and hitting that button. I started with the two second timer, didn't work as well. I just wanted to be a bit more accurate. So I got the remote trigger out. And as soon as the bus got near, fire it off, four seconds, the bus travels through. And um, yeah, and it just seemed to work. So fingers crossed when we get back into the studio, we can process that and it will look like a really wicked shot. Get the classics, yeah, when you're starting, get the classics, but come up with ideas, just come up with that idea, achieve the idea, if you can, you know. I think I've achieved it this evening. <laughs> so now we're gonna go around and see if we can find some more pictures to take. Let's go.